What's up Video Fort Nation? This is Video Fort Ruan with another awesome Video Fort tutorial. And this is where we will be doing the compositing in After Effects. So I hope your renders uh, came out okay from 3ds Max. And um, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to import our footage again. So if you go to the project files uh, under 4.1, you'll see uh, the final project footage.mov. And we're just going to drag that into the project area in After Effects. And then we're going to drag that into a new composition. So we've got our footage on the timeline. Okay, next we're going to import our render. So what we're going to do, we're going to double click in this project area. So just double click there. And then we're going to browse to the render. So I saved mine under renders 01. And then you should see all your render files. And if everything went uh, smoothly, you should have 200 PNG files. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, make sure you go all the way up to the first file, render 1 and uh, just select it just click on it once and then here at the bottom make sure that your uh, png sequence is ticked and that will actually tell after effects that it's a, a part of a sequence and it will automatically load all the png files okay then you click on open at the bottom and that will load your render as an image sequence now just something before we start something very importantly if i just highlight my footage.mov here at the top it will show you that it was recorded at 25 frames per second now, this is really important when you're importing an image sequence because image sequences, they don't really have a frames per second. So you need to make sure that your image sequence is set to the correct frames per second. So the way to check that is to right click on your render, go to interpret footage and then click on main. Then in this window, make sure that this frames per second here is the same as your footage. So because our footage was recorded at 25, make sure this is 25 as well. If you use footage that was maybe recorded at 24 or 23.976 or anything else, just make sure that your render is set to the same. So you can just type it in here to match it and then click on OK to confirm that. OK, so next we want to drag our render to the timeline. So we're just going to click and drag and make sure you put it above the footage layer and you'll see that you'll have your render in your scene. OK, so I'm just going to do a quick RAM preview. So Obviously, if you play this back, it's going to play back very slowly because it's actually loading those PNG files. And the way to kind of render this timeline is you can either use this button here at the top where it says preview and uh, RAM preview or the shortcut on your keyboard is just a zero on the numpad. OK, so the RAM preview has completed and as you can see, it's looking pretty cool. Uh, there's a few frames there at the end where it looks like the helicopter is actually stopping in mid-air. And hopefully you did a better job in 3ds Max for that animation. I think I did a bit of a, a, a curve at the end, so it looks like it's stopping. But it's fine, we can actually still use the most of this shot. Like everything up to around here is actually perfectly fine. So play through it and you can see we've got some nice motion blur um, on those rotors. So that's basically how you just bring everything into After Effects. And before we start compositing, we're just going to save our project. So let's just go to Save As. And I'm just going to create a folder here and call it Comp for compositing. And let's just call this uh, Final Project. And I'm going to give it a version number as well. So I'm just going to put underscore one and click Save. Also, be sure to check out video4.com for some awesome clips to practice with. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.